Hey guys. Hey, we're looking at food and it's almost lunchtime. We always look at food with these guys. I'd probably say 80% of the time. But we've, <laughs> we're taking a look at Domino's Pizza here today, DPZ. Uh, what are you guys uh, from Like Folio seeing on this stock? Yeah, Domino's has earnings this week. And uh, when we took a look at it, what's really interesting for Domino's is it reminds me a lot of uh, Chipotle in terms of the setup. Uh, and Chipotle is one that actually went against us uh, a couple weeks ago. So I put that caveat out there, but Domino's from a uh, social data perspective, we're starting to see in purchase intent mentions, which is uh, like Folio's measurement of how many people are talking about ordering from Domino's or purchasing their products. We're starting to see a reversal of a multi-year trend in growth. And uh, this is generally, uh, a bearish sign for a company, especially with the stock near all time highs like it is. Um, this divergence tells us that at, at long last, after a decade of growth, uh, we're starting to see less and less people talk about ordering from Domino's. The consumer enthusiasm for the brand is dropping. And we think, uh, and the data thinks that's a, a bearish signal for the stock. Don't know if it'll come through uh, this earning cycle, but do believe that at some point in 2019, um, you know, the, the tide will have turned for investors in Domino's. So Andy, I'm looking at your chart right now, and it looks like though the trend is still lower, it looks like you've got some rising data, at least off its lows and moving higher. Is, is, is this one where you may wanna be patient and keep watching data, or are you just going pure off where it sits as of today? Hey, we're, so. Um, you're right, and what it, what you can kind of see there, and it, the chart isn't extremely good the way that I laid it out at, at visualizing this, but this is a seasonal company. And so we're in the midst and what should be near the peak of a seasonal move in this purchase intent data. And so what that arrow is drawing is from uh, last year's seasonal peak to where it is today, which should be a seasonal peak, which is lower than last year, which is kind of a new phenomenon for Domino's. The year prior is pretty flat, uh, but we're starting to see this negative uh, peak in their in their cycle, and uh, that can be bad news uh, over the long term for a company like Domino's, whose investors, quite frankly, have gotten used to just such phenomenal growth. They have a new CEO uh, who Wall Street's giving some time to. But uh, what the prior CEO did is going to be very, very difficult to match. Yeah, it's an interesting take on that. Peak cycle to peak cycle, it's like Right, and, and the stocks basically followed their, uh, the, you know, the mentions, yeah. but it's ramped really high. But, I, you know, it, as far as happiness goes, Andy, that's a question I have. Being a Chicago boy and, you know. You're an we, Indiana boy, we've, officially. We've got, uh, you know, uh, hey, I think after 25 years, oh, I can call okay, myself okay, a Chicago okay. boy. Um, I mean, are people happy ordering this or is it just convenient? Yeah, so it's it, our mentions of Domino's, what we see is consumer happiness mentions are on the decline over the course of several years. Um, it peaked really high, to be fair. Uh, most online pizza companies, uh, you know, delivery companies do not get this level of consumer happiness, but you can see a, a declining trend from uh, 2012, 2013 through today. Um, you know, it's it's tough to compare Domino's to a Lumanati's and stuff like that that you guys are used to, but they have a pretty good pizza and they did a really good job of reinventing themselves over the course of 10 years. I think it's a shame that uh, business books uh, don't mention their prior CEO. I mean, I, I can barely remember his name. I think it's Patrick Doyle, but what he did to that company was was pure genius, genius and phenomenal over the course of a long period of time. It's just very difficult to sustain and we're starting to see uh, signs at least on Main Street that the consumer is starting to turn away from Domino's or at least isn't as enthusiastic about the company as they were uh, the decade prior. Got it. All right. For, for more on social media, let's bring in TD Ameritrade Network's own Jenny Horn. Jenny, I know yes. you, you like pizza. You're, you know, fresh you know, out of college a few years. Bread sticks. Come I on. do. I'm a pizza enthusiast. And, you know, you old people may not like Domino's. Oh, whoa, but, you know, whoa, whoa, shots whoa, fired. Shot, oh, man, hold on. <laughs> Domino's Standing is pretty cool. Count. So, I mean, on social media. My young kids, I've t I, full disclosure, my 19-year-old, my if I gave him one choice with all the Chicago pizza, he would choose Domino's pizza. My boy, thing, Chicago definitely. kid, 
wouldn't touch Domino's Pizza at any birthday party. He thought it was disgusting. That's but that's his, his opinion. That's a problem. Yeah. But on social media today, we're definitely seeing people talking about Domino's, whether it's now they're moving out of these kind of gas stations and they're becoming more just a fancier experience. There's these pizza theaters people are talking about, which to me seems kind of ridiculous. It's kind of like Krispy Kreme where you can watch your food be cooked. But obviously that didn't work out so well for them, so that was kind of the noise. Sounds like people have too much time on their hands if they're doing that, but go ahead. Sounds a little <laughs> bit like that. But our first tweet says, would seem like a tough hill to climb for Domino's to break 300 again, in my opinion. Looking more likely to fall back to the very least of the 50-day moving average. Major support around 255. Also spotted some MACD in static divergence action and randomly noticed a head and shoulders pattern within H&D. So what kind of movement are we really watching in Domino's going into earnings tomorrow? Well, yeah, well, I, I think see what he means about 255. That's a that's a busy area. That is a busy area. And, you know, I think to Andy's point, uh, Andy, you know, the stock's gotten a little bit ahead of itself as far as your data goes, correct? Yeah, that's what it looks like to us. And, you know, I think there's also, um, a, you know, a macro trend that's going on here, and that is a lot of these, um, you know, blaze or, uh, some of these, you know, you can go in and just get a, a wood-fired pizza that you custom create, kind of like a burrito, in, in three to five minutes. We're starting to see those take off, and less and less people talk about uh, getting pizza delivered. And so uh, that's a macro trend, just kind of a headwind that Domino's is having to deal with. But they're pretty pretty innovative company. I wouldn't be surprised if they come up with solutions. Yeah, it doesn't. I think LeBron James is invested in one of those. Yeah. A uh, quick mod or blaze or something like that. Blaze, yeah. All right, Jenny, you got a second tweet. I know that didn't even make any difference <laughs> wh why I said it, but go ahead. Okay, so our next tweet says, anyone else has noticed Domino's delivery fee has climbed from $0 during childhood to $150 during college to $359 today. If I'm tipping my driver, why am I paying Domino's an escalating delivery fee? Going to cost $8.59 extra to get the pizza delivered, LOL. Their stock is trading at $282. So this is kind of, I think, the problem with Domino's that I'm seeing is now their huge thing was this tech play where they made this like delivery app basically but now it order all you have to do is say order right and it just orders your repeat right but order. now a bunch of other companies have come out with something similar like right. Rubhub you can do the exact same thing but I think uh, one of the big areas that I read about uh, that they're making inroads in is they're making it cheaper for you to just cut, stop by the store and pick it up almost like Walmart picking up your groceries you order it online uh, Andy do you see that in any of your data as far as uh, you know you know mentions as far as uh, as far as picking up at the store as opposed to delivery yeah I think Jenny Jenny's tweet here is phenomenal it's very indicative of what we see uh, and part of the reason why those consumer uh, happiness mentions are drifting lower and lower and a lot of it has to do with fees a lot of it is these stores really want you to come get it from them um, you know and and quite frankly now you know Domino's is competing with the Lumanatis of the world simply because of services like Grubhub and Uber Eats who will go out there and just and get the orders for you from anywhere. And so um, that's another headwind for Domino's. Look, I think Domino's is a phenomenal company. I'm not you know, on here trying to bash them. I just think that the growth that they've had over the last 10 years with consumers is starting to wane. And uh, you know, the stock may be considerably ahead of itself over the course of the next year.